What's up guys, my name is Cody and I'd like to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Madden 16 tip that I think can help us out a lot uh, in the terms of offense this season. Uh, one of the things that uh, year to year you'll find uh, with, with gamers is that they'll try to like find the money plays. They'll try to find all the, all the like sexy plays, the user catches or whatever it may be. And I'm kind of guilty of doing that kind of too much at, uh, you know, myself. Uh, but what I want to focus on today is uh, I just want to show you a couple things. So first and foremost, defensively, we're going to be uh, in the Washington Redskins playbook today, and we're looking at uh, just some basic coverages I wanted to go through. Um, but uh, but so for example, we have cover two man, cover four, cover three, cover two, and uh, cover zero. If I find that, yeah, prowl spies, cover zero. I want to talk to you a little bit about defense and offense as well today. So one of the things that I've noticed uh, just in my time playing the game is that I'm in the uh, St. Louis Rams offensive book. So Washington on defense, St. Louis on offense. Uh, but so one of the things I've noticed, uh, for example, when I was watching the Madden Championship this week, is this weekend, is that a lot of guys do, they, they, they have really good offenses, they, but they don't do too much. Like they don't really have a whole lot of complicated things that they do. Uh, there's really kind of two camps of route combinations that you'll see. You'll see, uh, you know, routes that kind of come over the middle, and then you'll see routes that go to the outside. Those are kind of the two big basic things. So what I want to do today, I do want to, is I want to show you a little bit about my favorite play in the game, Z-Spot. This is probably my favorite play right now. And I like to run it flipped. Now, just kind of explain a little bit about this play. So first things first is this route to Jordy Nelson. It's probably the best route in the game. Uh, it's a post route, and it gets really, really good separation um, against man and zone. Uh, the only coverage that really handles it fairly okay is the cover four. Uh, but it, it can beat most coverages, and with the aggressive catch, it can beat every coverage. So we'll show you cover three here real quick. And what you'll see here is when he cuts over the middle, you get that nice animation. Now, again, he may get catch tackled, but he's at least going to get his hands on the ball a couple times this and if you work the timing out, you know, eventually you'll get your timing down to where you'll be able to easily throw this throw this route. Now, the beauty of this route is that it's an unbumpable route, which means that it is going to have the same timing every single time. Um, and so, you know, it's one of those routes that you can do a lot with. But anyway, so let's take a look at some of the other routes in this play. So we've got a little spot route to Jones. Now, what you want to do when you're labbing the play is you want to kind of see how everything does against man-to-man -man, because that's probably the hardest defense to beat and what you'll find here is that this spot route you know gets catch tackled it's not really that good you'll also find that pretty much every route on the left side doesn't do very well against man-to-man -man coverage um, they get bumped they don't get free releases they don't get that open you see the corner out here gets taken advantage of so so basically we need to create a second man beating route I like to have two man beating routes and then go from there um, so a couple things we can do is we can put our running back on an out route. Now this is really effective this season, uh, just kind of an outside pass lead, and it's going to get him in the open space against a linebacker. The better running back you have, the better this is going to work. Eddie Lacy's okay, uh, you know, but if you use someone like a you know, like a Marshall Falk or a Eric Dickerson in Madden Ultimate Team or a Danny Woodhead or someone like that, you know, this is going to work really, really effectively. So that kind of gives us our second man beating read if we if we want it the other important thing about when you're running an offense is you want to have routes that really work well off of one another you don't want to have them you, you don't want to have it to where you know they run into each other so let me give you an example of that so if i put my tight end on a streak right here the problem with this is that i'll show you the snap or later on so we get picked there Okay, so let me show you what happens um, when you put your tight end on a streak on this play. Basically, he's useless because you already have a vertical, you already have a route that's going to threaten the defense vertically in, in, in that post route right there to Jordy Nelson. So you're going to bring a deep route over here that's in the same vicinity. So when they, when they come across here, see how close they are together? If they're in a cover three defense, you know, they can easily defend both of these guys with one player. Now, the advantage to maybe putting your tight end on a streak 
I'm gonna show you this real quick. Is that it does better for like clearing zone coverages out. So like right here, it's a clear, cleaner window to throw the ball. But at the end of the day, this route to Jordy Nelson does fine against covered three on its own. The only the so the then so the, the question becomes okay so how do we handle when he goes uh, cover two because you see that linebacker drops back deeper, and so the key really for me this year is to get take care of the underneath zones so that they don't drop back like that. So what we're going to look at today is how to do that. So so cover two basically what you're going to have is you're going to have you're going to have that hook zone uh, to the middle linebacker that you're going to have to take care of. So the way I like to do that with this play specifically is I'll take uh, Rodgers here and I'll put him on a curl route. And then from there, we can do a couple of things. We can take Jones we can and we can motion him out, make a levels concept out of it. So we could maybe put him on a, put him on a crossing pattern or we could even put him on a slant. I would rather do the crossing route because it's just more consistent with spacing. And then we have this route to Cobb uh, in case they go like cover two sink on us, we can throw this corner route. Uh, but anyway, the other thing too is you want to strategically use motion snaps, um, which is a big kind of a big deal this year. Uh, motion snaps are pretty effective. So like in this, for example, right here, so we have a route going to the corner. We have a route going over the deep middle. We have a quick release to my running back here, Eddie Lacy. And then we have a route to Jones, which is going to be a crossing pattern. And we're going to motion him out and snap it like that, like real quick. And you see against man-to-man, -man, he's going to do fairly effective um, at beating that man-to-man -man coverage. That gives us a third quick read uh, against it. Now what this is going to do for us going forward is it should do a pretty good job against zone at getting that deep post route open, uh, which is our probably our most popular route anyway. So here's that snap throw to Jones. And it's a quick read. Again, it's, it's just something quick. If they're maybe sending a pressure blitz at you, you know, you may need it. But then the next thing we'll show you is this route to the tight end. If we high pass lead it, it normally does pretty good if they have a good catching traffic rating. You know, normally that does a pretty good for us. Now what I want to do is I want to show you something like a cover two. So this is your standard cover two coverage. And what you'll see now, we have all these routes coming across. We should be able to, and we can check it down to the tight end. If they go deep like that, it's an easy check down read too. That's the other cool part about it. It's easy check down read. But if they go high or they play underneath on that route, then we're going to be able to hit this. Um, we should be able to hit this route to Jordy Nelson over the top here. So I'll show you that real quick. So he comes down. And we come back in behind him with that route. That we threw it a little early. Um, you need to be careful when you're throwing this route to Jordy Nelson that you don't throw it too early. Some, and I normally do kind of run into the camps of throwing things a little too early before they're open. And as you can see right there, I mean, it, it, if it, you throw it too early, they'll come underneath it like that. But make sure it's a clear, clear throw. We're having some trouble. It does take some time. Now the beauty of the play as a whole is that normally you're not going to need that route. Um, that route is mainly for the purpose, for the purpose of like a bailout read over the top. But you have your quick crossing patterns. You step up, and there's Jordy Nelson coming across the middle. So that's kind of some of the thought processes for me as I develop plays. I figured I would share that with you. Another way you can run this play is you can just run a standard zone flood to the left which is going to do good against cover three, cover uh, zone blitzes, cover two even. And then you can have Eddie Lacy on a, a curl route. And what this will do really well for you is you'll use, you can use the playmaker uh, and playmaker Eddie Lacy on a little crossing pattern. And you see he does a pretty good job at, at beating man to man. I think Tenacious was one of the first people to do that this season. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty good, it's pretty good. It works well with the flow of the play. Um, but then if you, you know, say, for example, they go cover three, well, you have your zone flood on this side of the field, um, so you can you know run your corner flats and get who's open there. But also, if they go cover two, and we'll show you that real quick. Cover two gives that flood a little bit of problem. So if they go cover two like this, 
and we'll show you something tomorrow that's going to build off of this play. But So they go cover two here, and we're able to hit that corner route deep over the top. So the idea is you want to have plays that go in certain directions, and they can beat all the coverages. So for example, tomorrow we're going to show you a play, and it's going to do this. We'll just show you a, a preview real quick. But if they start maybe sending heavy pressure at us, something like this maybe, we'll go to this play. It looks exactly like the other play, but we're running a couple different routes, and we'll have guys wide open deep. I'll show you one more time because we didn't get a good look. But the point, guys, is this. In a good offense, it's not just one money play. It's having you know, five to six plays that look fairly similar to each other, work well off of one another, and, uh, and you're successful with it. So anyways, guys, wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you look forward to tomorrow, guys, you want to see what we're going to do tomorrow, kind of help you build off of what we talked about today, uh, then I would recommend hitting that subscribe button. Uh, also, guys, if you have any questions for me about this video, if you leave that in the comment section, and I'll get back with you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video, and we'll